pair of parametric equations have been given. They are equal x equals tan theta and i equals 2 cos squared theta sin theta. For x lies bit for theta lies between 0 and pi by 2, the range of theta is given. We have to show that dy by dx equals we have to show that dy by dx equals this. Now let's begin. Before going, uh, before beginning, I would like to tell you something. If there's a function, let's say y equals x squared, then we can find dy by dx. Taking dy dx on both sides, so taking dy dx on both sides, this will give 2x. Look here. If there's y and here's x, we can find dy by dx. But here's, so here's x and here's theta. From this we can find dx by d theta. Here's y, here's theta, and we can find dy by d theta from that. We cannot solve this directly. So, after we obtain dx by d theta and dy by d theta, how do we find dy by dx? We find that by using something called the chain rule. Look, dy by dx equals so separated by a multiplication sign. Same thing. dy here, dx here. And thus I'm going to multiply the uh, numerator and denominator by d theta. So look, these will cancel out and this will be dy by dx. So, this and this are the same thing okay so same thing and from this we can find dy by d theta and from this we can find d theta by dx and hence we can find dy by dx this is called the chain rule okay so let's begin by finding d theta by dx to to do that we uh, we need to find dx by d theta first of all dx by d theta equals x is tan theta so derivative of tan theta with respect to theta is x squared theta you could apply the quotient rule but it's already given in the formula book let so you could just you can just write this directly okay and d theta by dx so d theta by dx is simply what 1 over dx by d theta yeah just reciprocal of this so this is 1 by sec squared theta and 1 by sec squared theta is cos squared theta so we have found one thing now let's find dy by d theta okay dy by d theta equals d by d theta, theta of this because y equals 2 cos squared theta sine theta okay now since it consists of two functions that are multiplied together we need to use the product rule to find the derivative the product rule simply says derivative of two functions multiplied together now in this case it's theta so I've written theta if it were let's say x it would be x I mean if it was y equals x squared we could just divide dx but yes theta we are working with the parameter uh, theta we are working with the parameter theta so differentiating this with respect to theta is simply You take the derivative of 1, you take the derivative of the first function and multiply it with the second function. So times v plus you take the derivative of the second function. So second function and you leave the first function. This is not uv, okay? This is d by d theta of u. This is one term and this is another term okay put the brackets here so it will not be confusing so see take the derivative of first leave the second take the derivative of the second leave the first now let's apply this in here so this is going to be derivative of first times the second take the first derivative leave the second take the second derivative Take the second, leave the first. Now all that's left is to differentiate. Now I'll show you how to do this. I will not do this directly, I'm going to use the chain rule. I'm going to use the chain rule. Okay, what's this going to be? The constant will not be differentiated. So this will come at the front and we will be left with. Yeah. 
you could just look at this this will be what you it will be 3 how it's gonna be 3 dx by dx and this is 3 times 1 this is 3 so look the constant will come at the front so it's 2 times the derivative of this and this is 2 d by d theta this is cos theta whole squared okay yeah and just look at one thing we differentiated this with respect to x in our simple words here's x here's x therefore this can be differentiated if it were 3x squared it could be also differentiated if it were x3 x cubed it also could be differentiated I simply mean to say if there's a function of x here then we need x down here to differentiate it but look the function is cos theta here and here we have theta and we cannot differentiate this here's x squared here's x function of x here's x we can differentiate here's a function of cos theta but theta is not a function of cos theta so this cannot be differentiated so in order to differentiate cos theta whole squared we need d cos theta in the denominator and as before it's this okay I'm going to just going to separate I'm just going to separate put the d theta here it's the same thing right separating by a multiplication sign sign and what do we need to differentiate this function of cos theta we need cos theta here so put cos theta here but if we put cos d cos theta here we need to put d cos theta here so that this and this will would be equivalent so look d cos theta d cos theta cancel out and we would be left with 2 d cos squared theta by d theta same thing now look function of cos theta cos theta function of theta and theta we can differentiate this check look what this what is this going to be it's going to be n x to the power n minus 1 function of x to power n function of uh, x is function of x x this is going to be n x n minus 1 look instead of x we have t cos theta here here's x here's x but look here's cos theta here's cos theta so if we just compare these two then the results will be similar so for simplicity just replace x with cos theta then what would we get we will get that it's n x n minus 1 what's n n is 2 what's x x is cos theta and 2 minus 1 is 1 so look if this equals this then this is going to equal this just replace x with cos theta and n with 2 you'll get this so this is 2 cos theta the derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta yeah so there's two uh, I forgot to write that there's two already so two times this times this this is 2 cos theta and this is minus sin theta so this will give you minus 4 sin theta cos theta so what what is this we found it was minus 4 sin theta cos theta times sin theta so sin squared theta plus this is cos theta and cos theta times cos squared theta is 2 cos cubed theta so we have found d theta by dx and we have also found dy by d theta now let's just use this dy by dx equals dy by d theta times d theta by dx dy by d theta is this term here so dy by d theta times dx by d theta and times d theta by dx d theta by d theta by dx is cos squared theta dy by d theta is this and d theta by dx is cos squared theta let's multiply multiplied cos 3 theta cos 5 theta okay and look here we have to show 6 cos 5 theta minus 4 cos cubed theta this look no sine theta so we need to replace sine squared theta with cos squared theta and we know that sine squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta 
sin squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta so we can eliminate this and this is what simply minus plus for cos 5 theta and we have what we have 2 cos 5 theta from above okay and adding 2 plus 4 is 6 so this is 6 cos 5 theta minus 4 cos 2 theta 4 plus 2 6 minus this so remember I use this if there's a function of theta we need theta to differentiate it like function of x we need x here okay function of cos theta we need cos theta down here that you should remember and also if there's theta and here's x we can find dx by d theta and if there's y is theta we can find dy by d theta and so on just you should remember that okay thank you